Hey guys, what is up? It is Dotsy Maker for PC Precision. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to create a Mega Coaster or Giga Coaster realistic break section. So, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we are going to select. Let's select Giga Coaster, just like this. Alright, so let's say it is at this height. One, two, three, four, five. Then it goes up. It eventually goes down. How high is this? All right. This is just a little uh, example of what you could come up with. So pretty much, it goes up, down, up, down, and right here is where I put a break. And this break is pretty important. You want to have a break that is not very powerful, but is still enough to break. Alright, so then you go down. Now it's all about creating the most realistic one. So now we just add these. You sure want to make sure it keeps the speed so that when you hear this, this block break, when you hear that, that is when all of the brakes are disengaging so pretty much we're gonna put one here all right so because the black brake actually makes a sound it makes a sound when um, the car actually goes over it it's pretty cool all right let's put another one there just for speed all right let's see what we can do here four cars all right so let's test out this brake section right now so the cars are going up and then it will look like the cars are actually being um, well are going into the brake right there as you can see alright so pretty much just again once more for the sound let me just quickly turn up the sound a little oh I can't alright I can actually do it but not with that so I'm not going to do that. But you can hear this. Here we go. Let's hear this break. You hear that? That is actually going to be the sound that disengages the entire thing. So now we're going to close this. I'm going to put it there. Alright. So first of all, we want to paint the rail. Now we're going to paint this a little different because as you can see right here, that doesn't even look bad. Alright, so we're just going to use white rails. Alright, so like that on the brake section. Now, um, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to go into here in Ride Events. There's a Mega Coaster Brakes. Now, I will put the download for this in the description. I'm not sure where I uh, actually got this. It's not mine, just telling. Uh, but, you know, it's, it is in fact. Um, someone else's and I will upload it and I will give them full credit um, pretty much just search for it and you will find the guy that made it alright so pretty much what we're gonna do is we are going to slope short to we are gonna add two of these alright just like that and another one here think well does that look right I don't think so short two maybe this one and then short one again all right so that's pretty much just two separate sets of breaks let's make it day all right then right event normal here we go one hit this oh, well, actually hover over this hold control and then you can just place more of them oh that one was false Okay then, so now we're going to paint those. Now we are going to paint those white and gray and white. Look a little bit nicer like that. Alright, so let's change these events. Now, this one is going to be set at this one. This is going to be set at this. This one is even going to be set at this and even this one. Oh, no wait, this one is going to be set here. So. If 
brakes were correct now when I test the ride all of the brakes will be disengaging at the moment it hits the brake right after the black brake as you can see and they open all right so now what we want is some realism so what we're gonna do for that is we are going to add in some regular stuff that we have so uh, for what I have I have gadgets goodies for coasters and I will use these handrail steps for this hold control actually no I won't use those those actually look pretty bad or actually maybe I can put them here no all right um, not using those <laughs> all right let's see what else we got we got some LIM I guess I can use that for the brakes looks pretty nice but nah oh I actually deleted something I didn't want to delete so you go back in here all the way down right event and replace that all right now what we're gonna search for is this flat grouped that's better that's better a lot better all right let's place that there make it go up and then gentle grouped There we go, I think. That's it. Oh, I actually opened something else, alright. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I will actually go to gentle flat groups. I'll go all the way up and I'll click flat groups. Just one more time. I'll put one here. Alright, so pretty much that's the break section. Now, what we want to do is we want to go into... You know, we just want to add technology to this ride. So, the way I do that is... It's pretty easy, actually. You know, I, I use a lot of random stuff uh, to make it look good. For example, if I would like to use... Hmm, I think it is down here. Actually, no, it's, I, it will be down here, I think. Here we go. I'll actually see these block breaks. So I will add those. Nope, not those. All right, I will add these. As you can see, that thing is not in there. I don't know why, but it looks technology in a coaster. It looks good, you know. To have just a simple intimate track right here, it doesn't look that good. So, you know, add some tires maybe. If those fit, but they don't, so we're not gonna add them. All right. I also got these, of course, these don't fit because this is made for B&M, so I shouldn't use those. Alright, now a launch fin. Um, normally this is used for launches, of course, but you can also use it for something like this. Just one fin every once in a while. You know, just don't put too many in there. I'm going to put two. Alright. Uh, what is this? Alright, but we don't need that. Um... But yeah, you know, you can use whatever you want. You can make it realistic with whatever you want. Um, this is basically the, the way I want to do it. But now what I'm going to do is I am going to search for the wooden coaster parts. And I think that's somewhere at the J. Um, let me see. Here we go, Jackie X. Now, if you see this break, this break looks pretty realistic. And if I put this over here, it looks even better. The break run. So we're gonna put one of those breaks right here. We can also put some friction brakes, or actually some friction wheels. And I will put those. For example, if I want to, I could put them on a coaster like this, but of course this doesn't look right. So I'm not going to do that. Alright, but also for the lift hill, right here, you got some of these, you know, which you can use on pretty much every coaster. As you can see, they just look better. The lift hills. Alright, but guys, that's, I think that's pretty much it, you know, for creating a brake run. Now I will actually test it one time on ride. Yeah, we'll make it go up. 
and now we're gonna ride it. Here we go. Alright, so I think that looked pretty good, you know, especially the final part. Now you can add any kind of support you want under here, you, don't, you really don't want the uh, standard, the, the default one. Um, a way to get rid of that without using a uh, support killer is just go here, go to the eye, show LRD options, supports, drag them all the way down, draw this all the way down. Here we go, now you have no supports anymore. Doesn't matter how close you are or how far you are, you just have no supports. So now you can add whatever you want. But then remember when someone else opens a park and they don't have that selected, they're going to see this through your supports. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it, you know, I really